It is time for your all access here on the ESPN College Football YouTube channel. I am Matt Barry. As you can see, we are at Marshall this week. Big one in the Sun Belt between Marshall and JMU Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. One of my favorite things we do each and every week is we kind of bring you inside the facilities, give you an all access look at what they have here. And look, a lot of programs have some NFL greats that played football there. Here's the NFL wall of some of the players and the players that played here at Marshall that have gone on to the NFL. And as we spin you around here and you look at some of these All-American football awards from the Thundering Herd, keep an eye on this kid Thursday night, Rasheen Ali. He is the star of this football team. Can't wait to dive into his story uh, more tomorrow night during the broadcast. But Marshall, it's a smaller school, but the football history here is something else. Come have a look at this. If you know college football, you know these three guys, Chad Pennington, our very own Randy Moss, and of course, Byron Leftwich. These players were not only Marshall legends, they are college football legends, and you find them everywhere in the facilities here at Marshall. Heisman honorees, all of these guys in contention at one point during their career here at Marshall. The trophy case was some of the stuff that they were able to accomplish while playing here at Marshall. And we talked about the NFL wall with the helmets, all of the jerseys of the Thundering Herd that have played in the NFL adorn the walls on both sides. And how about this? You wanna talk about having a good football history? Troy Brown, three-time Super Bowl champion of the New England Patriots, have a look. He's got his bling here at the facilities as a Super Bowl champion, a three-time Super Bowl champion, and a proud member of the Marshall Thundering Herd. But there are so many different areas of this place that pay tribute to a small school, but big picture, one of the great college football traditions we have. We just gave you the famous names of the Marshall football program, but these are the names of the 75 lives lost in a tragic plane crash back on November 14th. 1970 as we approach the 53rd anniversary 37 football players coaching staff and loyal supporters of Marshall football here at the middle of campus this is the fountain that pays respects to those lives lost back in 1970. we know the fountain we know the story because of the movie we are Marshall and each and every day students here in front of the student center in front of the union here on campus cannot forget that tragedy almost 53 years ago as this fountain is here to pay its respects. So you just saw the memorial outside. I want to bring you inside the Vinnie Curry football locker room and show you something that kind of ties it all together. We had talked about the memorial and the 75 lost in that tragic plane crash back in 1970. This is a plaque that commemorates the young thundering herd. These were the players that were not on the plane crash that kept this program afloat. And so it's a reminder each and every game as the players leave this locker room to go out to the field, that it was the young thundering herd of 1971 and 1972 that kept this community together during such a tragic time. I hope you enjoyed our all access here at Marshall. Give me something oh.